All right, all right, so my dumbass exited the other video, so now I'm going to have to make part one and part two. So this is my living room. It's turned into kind of a living room slash bedroom because my air conditioner kind of stopped and, well, I mean, it didn't stop, but it um, stopped working as well. So now we are dealing with kind of a low key air conditioner and it sucks. Um, so we just decided to stay down here and uh, it was right in time for me to have surgery. So we're just like, whatever, we'll just stay down here until end of surgery. And then the, when the end of surgery happens, like, more, it'll be like chilly and stuff like that. So like, we'll be able to go back upstairs and it'll be fine. So like, I'm going to be sitting in that chair. Well, I'm going to have to put a sheet on it because my foster mom is like a freak and wants me to be in a clean chair. So I'm going to have to put a sheet on the chair. I still have to set up my PlayStation so I can play games and watch Netflix and stuff like that. I have to get my clothes out. The closet and I have a wedge pillow that my best friend so kindly gave me because they're freaking expensive and all of that jazz. So just so you can see it and know what it this is a wedge pillow. It's so that you don't have to totally lay down and hurt yourself whenever you sit back up. Pretty much what it is. Okay. <sighs> there's so much. There's so much. And I, like, there's so much I still have to do. It's so much. Like, I have shirts that I have to organize. I have... My foster mom gave me these sheets, like, these sheets to put on the chair, and, like, I don't want any of them, because, like, why the fuck do I need sheets to put on that chair? Like, it's a chair. <sighs> She's like, it's so dirty. And I'm like, that's a chair. So, anyway, um... needs to be mailed out. Gotten in this habit of getting up at like six or seven o'clock in the morning now and going to eat a bowl of cereal and then passing out again. Yeah, it's been a whole thing. My cereal of choice has been, um, I guess I'll do Mickey Mouse. Save Mickey Mouse. You wanna do it with me?
Looks okay, right? Looks sufficient, right? Right, right, right. We're gonna say right. All right. So this this is gonna be all the stuff I need readily available. Like this is gonna be like my massager and stuff like that. I have uh, a whole bag of ibuprofen, um, prescription Tylenol, prescription ibuprofen, um, literally a whole bag of it. Uh, every kind of Tylenol, ibuprofen, anti uh, antihistamine, antihistamine. Uh, legitimately, just like I hold back of it. Painting my nose, because, you know, one has to be fashionable. I have two versions of a back scratcher. <laughs> uh, the sharp point, because my partner broke it. And then the easy point. I have chargers out the wazoo for myself, for my laptop. Um, I have clothes. Um, yes, I know. That I do not need. I'm not going to need that anymore. None of this. Okay, so that I'm gonna need. That I'm gonna need. No. That I'm gonna need. This is the one I'm gonna need. Okay, so. I'm gonna. Sorry. I'm gonna be bouncing back and forth. And if you don't wanna hang on with me, I, I understand. But I have to fill this, the basket, with stuff that I need readily available for, like, like uh, activities and stuff like that, and I need to fill the basket with clothes, I need to plug in my PlayStation, I need to do, like, um, so, like, there's a whole bunch of stuff that I still need to do. If you don't want to hang out with me, that's totally cool, and I totally understand that, um, but... Uh, like, there are some people who I know that do want to see this process. Um, this is going to be a drain-free double mastectomy, and there is a very specific process to this, and, um, the hysterectomy is going to be slightly different, too. So, I just, if you want to be a part of it, you are more than welcome to. If you do not... Arrivederci, sweetheart. Never Gotta have your neck pillow for the first couple of nights. Make sure it's washed. All right, so. People keep asking me like what I'm feeling and how I'm feeling and I'm just like, I don't feel anything. Um, I really don't feel anything. Like, I don't feel like I'm about to have a major surgery. I feel like...
I'm just going into the hospital to check in and that's pretty much it. Like that's that's it. I feel like I'm going to the hospital to check in. What is it? What? What? No more. No more food. So I have a shit ton of fucking clothes. Like, I've gotten rid of so many clothes, and I still have so many clothes. No! Still have so many clothes. No! And... No! Welcome back. Sorry, my partner came home and they don't like to be on camera and I can understand that. So, while we were away, I plugged in my PlayStation, got it set up. I um, got a few of my shirts out. Um, I got my clothes sorted out. For my hysterectomy, it is recommended that you get um, pads, uh, trigger warning. Um, it's gonna have a shape on it. Uh, my best friend had, just had a hysterectomy as well, and she bought this pack and was like, I have a hundred of them, and you're about to have a hysterectomy, so do you want this pack? And I'm like, how much do you want for them? She's like, you can have them. Which she does all the time. So I, I'm grateful. Because apparently these are like 50 $60 more, something like that. I don't know. So, anyway, um, they recommend you get these for after hysterectomy because you're going to be dripping things. And, um, you're not leaving the house. You can't leave the house for like couple days anyway, or a month anyway, so this is only for inside the house, and it, I don't know, it feels, I, I guess it feels uncomfortable, it looks uncomfortable, um, my best friend said, uh, my friend said that she didn't even feel it really, that it was just kind of like extra pair of underwear, maybe she was just, you know, being nice, I don't know, anyway, so they recommend you get these, um, always discreet boutique, uh, this is maximum, small, medium, uh, I am a medium, so this would fit perfectly, so these are going into the, uh, basket with the necessities, not the clothes, because, uh, just not the clothes, you would think clothes, but, um, I'm going to change clothes more times than I'm going to change that because, like, no. Um, so, I decided that I wanted six, no, eight button-up shirts. So, I had two originally, and then I decided oh, well, it wasn't enough. So then I went to Goodwill and I got, my partner got me, uh, I found three shorts thing, four long thing, something like that. And I got them a size higher, obviously. And so I got long sleeve and short sleeve covered. Um, down here. I'm still pulling out the t-shirts. Some of them aren't cute. Like, some of them are very tacky. But I didn't go for style, like, at all. This one's kind of cute. I think I went for I think I, I grabbed this one because it was cute. My partner. 
to grab this one. Yeah. So in a second, I will well show you the drugs that I have. Not the ibuprofen. So you have gas X and cola, colace. Um, I have no. I have um. See, there was a point in time whenever nothing agreed with my stomach, like nothing. And so I had to get a specific prescription from the doctor to help me go to the bathroom. And for some reason, he put a refill on it and I got like three bottles. And so if I get constipated, I have like a buttload of constipation medicine in there. I just realized I made a joke. So, is this mine or the doctor's? So, I have, when you can't tell which is your partner's. I'm gonna say they're closed. I'm gonna say, I'm leaning into they're closed now. How am I gonna text them if they don't take their phone? Maybe they took their computer? I don't know. Anyway. Um, so I'm trying to get to my white t-shirts because that's what I'm uh, trying to get towards the most. Because that's what I've been told the most that is the most can I say most again? That's what I've been told is the best thing. I mentioned it to my doctor, my surgeon, and he's like, oh, well, that sounds like a great idea. Um, so I want to mention that and that's theirs, to everybody because I saw it online and I want to spread the good cheer, and I can't remember who I saw it from online, and I really wish I could find that person again, because it is great advice, and um, I wouldn't know that person if I seen them, if I saw them, I would not know that person at all. So if you pop up in my inbox and are like, oh, that was me, that was me, that was me, that was me, I, like, you're going to be preaching to a dead wall because I'm going to be like you were a random person in a Facebook group and that's all I know but I applaud you and I appreciate you okay I swear I see a, a whole a whole pit of white right there I did not record this just so you could see me do my laundry. All the way, by the way, this is not like endorsed. This Cake Bandit harness, the medium, is the best harness that I've ever, 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 ever used. Like, I've used, um, the fuck is that thing? Peacock. Peacock's Comfort and Play Harness does not even come close to this. Like, I, I haven't played in this, and I don't know if I would play in this because it would come out, but um, just packing and peeing, this is like one of the best, best, best harnesses I've ever worn. It's comfortable. It just sits on you. I don't feel like I'm wearing a harness, like, whatsoever. It's nice. Nice. I fully, fully fully encourage this it's like i think 18 dollars. i know it's a little expensive but literally like uh, uh, like i bought two smalls and i had to adjust them so much that i couldn't wear them and i was like so shitty so i'm gonna have to readjust them so i can wear them 
and I bought these thinking that I was going to have to adjust them as well and they came perfectly sized. Okay, so here are all my white shirts. Okay, so I bought a pack of Fruit of the Loom plain white tees, 16 bucks for six, and I'm going to cut them down the middle, and then whenever I get my chest binder from the doctor, I'm going to put this on top of my skin in between the binder so that it does not scratch my skin because the binder is scratchy and it is tough and I have sensitive skin and so that's what I'm going to do personally. Um, I saw a guy on Facebook do that and he said that his skin, his skin was sensitive and he tried it and it worked wonders. I brought it up to my surgeon. He said that was a great idea and he actually like he spaced out and he was like that's a really good idea huh and i felt like super brilliant in that moment you know like a surgeon looked at me and was like you thought of something i didn't hmm. i felt brilliant but like no i got six of them i'm only gonna i'm not gonna cut them up all at the same time i'm gonna cut them up uh one at a time so like if i don't happen to need uh if i happen to not like if i only happen to need one or two of them and not you know what i mean and not use the other couple of ones like if i only use like three and not use the other three i can still wear the other three and chalk the other three does that make sense like i'm I'm, I'm gonna try my hardest to um, do this logically, is what I'm saying. So, um, I have my I'm gonna be bringing my pillow so I have a pillow to hug against the seatbelt with because there's going to need to be a seatbelt between the chest and the seatbelt. Um, we have reached the end. Okay, so now I can actually, like, show you everything. Everybody's like, thank fuck. I'm just getting tired of that. Okay, so all their clothes are going in here. I usually fold their clothes, but I'm trying to get something done. Alright. So, I'm going to put my nail kit in my bag. And have that taken care of. I'm gonna take my binder and put it in the bathroom. Along with my other binder. What's up? Where's my other binder? Right in here. My binders. I'm gonna put them in the bathroom and get everything together. So I'm gonna go get the gas X and the colas tomorrow is the last day I'll be wearing binders hopefully let's see get out my anti nausea medication um, let's see. see like I have a whole medicine cabinet in here 
Okay, I'm gonna get out one thing of gas X because I don't think I need like a whole bag. One thing of gas X. Um, so usually when I come in here and I ruffle around, this is the first thing I find, and it's legitimately the only thing I pick up every two pickups. Now that I'm looking for it, I'm not going to pick it up. There it is. Okay. Okay. Got my colace. Gas X. Um. I already went through this bathroom, so I don't think there's anything else that I need out there. Okay, so. I've got my trans tape and all of the other stuff out of the bathroom so that, because I don't need it anymore. All right, so the laundry basket is for the most part done all right so for over here this side my recliner for easy access see i have a little basket over here as well with easy access stuff um yeah i'll leave that in there from the carpal tunnel some cbd um, gotta have some pleasure every now and then. I'm gonna be pumping, cause, like, that's all I'm gonna be able to do. Paint my nails, got some beard growth going on. Just a little ins and outs. And then, over here, got my little T-Rex looking out for me. And my grandma looking out for me. And then within two weeks, and I've got some more stuff coming in, I've got King Butter Love's Apple Cider Donut, which is uh, going to be scar cream. I've got Flat and Flawless, which is Chase Ross's, uh, he is a part of a business called, uh, he is one of two in a business called Flat and Flawless, and they make a scar care cream and it is, yeah, and the ingredients on both of these are all natural, legitimately all natural. Both of them are all inclusive and love everybody. This is by a person that did my, uh, rose tattoo for my grandmother it smells amazing and so these are just three of the scar creams that I have I'm waiting for silicone strips and bio oil this is my doo doo uh, medicine for last chance my colace, my gas X, dry shampoo just in case uh, I can't make it to the shower Baby wipes, just in case I can't make it to the shower. Deodorant, just in case I can't make it to the shower. Pain medicine. Trash can. I'm going to have my laptop in here, and then it's going to go over here. I'm going to have coloring books, coloring crowns, my slippers for the cats, because they're evil. And my wedge pillows in the closet. That's going to be my laundry basket full of clothes. Um, I have the body pillow right here. I have another body pillow upstairs. Um, I have another body pillow over on the couch. I have two pillows on the uh, love seat over there. Or on the couch over there. I have two head pillows over there. I have pillows everywhere. Um... So, it's, I think I'm set up, but I, I, like, I feel like I'm missing something. Like, I feel, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Um,
I don't know though. I feel I I deducted like everything everybody said and then just felt like what I needed. Like I got what I thought I needed. Like white shirts, button ups, loose pants and shorts. Um stuff to keep me entertained while I was down. Poop medicine, scar cream gauze oh yeah i got some gauze pads gauze pads tape some um pain reliever cold packs and stuff like it's like my muscles start to get sore um along with that uh muscle relaxer stuff that uh massager um i have money on my food stamp card and on my regular card so that I can just readily give my partner my cards and they can go to the store. So, I don't know if I'm forgetting something or if I'm missing something, but it seems like everything is taken care of and in place maybe I will be recording and uploading tomorrow morning as well more than likely it will be uploading during my surgery because my phone and the internet are uh, my phone's not slow the internet's slow so I will record tonight right before bed and upload it during the night um, so everything will probably be late for you all and give you all updates as I go. Um, thank you for your continued support and continued views. I really appreciate it. Like you all have continued to watch me ramble and go on and just talk about my life and what I do and me I noted it and I really appreciate it and uh, I don't think I've said thank you or how much I love you all and I love you guys I love you all and we're all family here I know we've been through some rough years and it's been a fucked up year for more for a couple of other people but I'm really glad that we're standing strong and that Everybody that I know has each other's back because that's what we need is to have each other's back. So thank you and I really appreciate all of you all. Peace and love.